You read it to us, right? It's mine. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Good We're morning. Like... Hey, good morning, everybody. We are live uh, streaming live Sundays from the tortoise guy. And check out the swimming pool back there. We're probably not in tortoise land, right? No. Nope. So we got a big surprise. You guys know Sweet Piper? And look at this. Believe it or not. <laughs> go in and get those teeth. He's a jerk. Come in and get those teeth. All right? Everybody knows Cray Cray Rocky. <laughs> right? Be sweet to you. Yeah. All right. So where are we? We came out to Palm Springs, right? So this is a surprise um, episode. All right. All right? And uh, why did we come out to Palm Springs? Well, we need to go revisit Lucky. What? Lucky? Yep. And you've got a tortoise that you found let loose somewhere and it looks like you're going to be naming a new tortoise all right so everybody we're going to put pipey down okay hi pipey you know usually on the live streams you guys first off thanks for being here and thanks for thanks for watching right and and a lot of times people will be like where's where's piper especially where's where's uh, cray cray right and usually on the live streams for whatever reason bam they go in the house right and they're not around but today you see it outside. so listen who is Lucky. Who's Lucky? Yeah. Now Lucy. We call her Lucy. Now. Lucky Lucy. Yeah. So here's the deal. We have a playlist, so you mm -hmm. got to check it. If you haven't seen the whole story of Lucky, L Lucky is a big African Sokata tortoise um, that I got an emergency call yeah. from, from a, a friend of mine, a woman that runs a small pet store. Got the call a couple months ago yeah. saying, she's like, oh my God, somebody dropped off this huge African Sokata at my doorstep. I've been working with her for a lot of years. She's like, I, I, I can't have it. I don't know what to do. It was locked in the bathroom with no food and no water. So you gotta check the live stream. There's a great playlist called called Lucky, okay? Lucky, I think it says, you can't miss it. It says Lucky, okay? And in that, I live streamed the actual rescues. Go take a look over there. Hey, Bart. Right? That's the, come here, come on, come on, the, the, <laughs> right? <laughs> Right. Bart was uh, also, I see. Also, I see one of the one of the little guys. There he is. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who's that? You ask. That is. That's Bean. That's right. That's Bean, everybody. Okay. All right. Look at that little Bean. Okay. Gorgeous little Bean. So why is Bean here? Because Bean came as companion to who? No name. All right, so we got a few things we're going to talk about before the exciting thing that we're going to go around the corner, see the habitat that Michael has built for um, for Lucky. Okay, that's why we're here. We're here. I brought a few other tortoises to potentially keep company for for Lucky, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see so, how it goes. That's right. But first, yeah. why we went? Hey, where's your baseball cap? Sorry. Right there. That's right. Okay. Look at this. So shameless swag. <laughs> from the tortoise guy, right? Doesn't this look good? Don't you want some of this swag? Yes. Yeah, I know you do. So guess what? We have a name. Tracy says there. hey. Who does? Tracy. Tracy Wells. <laughs> Tracy Wells. Tracy's awesome. Tracy's uh, watches uh, the videos. Tracy leaves a lot of great comments. Tracy, where's Craig? Craig? Call Craig. Oh, Craig. Oh. Ooh, huh? Where's Craig? Craig? Call. Craig. Call Craig. 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 Come here. Come here. Come Tracy loves Craig. Craig. Come on up here. Hey, buddy. Come on, Kara. Okay, take a look down here. Tell me. Who is this dude? There we okay, go. reason we brought the reason I brought a uh, 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 bean over here is to give this little dude company. Uh -huh. Now, this little dude name is no name. No name right now. Right? Yeah. Why is it no name? Because this dude I introduced uh, him or her last Sunday on the live stream. All right, this this guy was found in an alleyway. What breed, what breed of tortoise is that? This is African Sulcata. It's just a really small one. See how dark one. the scout? The, yeah. How, yeah, I thought for sure it was a red foot, right? Because red foots have a very dark, um, very dark shell, you know? But it's not. African Sulcata, just like, uh, just like dwarf bean. But you know what the big difference is? You want to hold this dude? Okay, dwarf bean is the sister of Digger. Digger is here right now. Okay, Digger is how big? Digger's probably 18 inches and weighs about 30 pounds. Yeah, at least, right? Yeah. So this is the sister. Come on in close. This is the sister, all right? And and was born. So how can it be that Digger is that big? And this one's barely over a Katie pound. says, I have a male uh, Greek tortoise who is friendly. Uh, hey, Katie. Katie! Hi, Katie! <laughs> Thanks. How big's your Greek tortoise? I've yeah. never heard of a Greek tortoise. Go for, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Greek, I, I have, Katie, I have, uh, I have a male and female 
Okay, five minutes. I, I have a male and female, uh, and they have given birth to three babies in tortoise land. Okay, so uh, Greek tortoises rock. Okay, and uh, so here it is. So this is a dwarf, a, a certified by the vet dwarf African sulcata. Okay, because this girl should be the size of Digger and all them, four years old. Okay, but she from from day one she had a terrible underbite. She couldn't eat all that. She's been to the vet a lot. This is a lot like Lucky. Looking and, at her beak very oh, that's closely. Right. She's got an underbite That's the same way. Oh, she used to have a huge underbite, yeah, okay. you know, which brings up the next thing, okay? But first, let's we'll do the naming. Later, yeah. yeah, let's yeah. do the naming cutters. We can put we can put the girl down. Yeah, she can go over here in the grass, yeah. okay? So what are we doing? Why we get the swag on? Well, because we have a naming contest going on, everybody. All right. So we this this dude was found in an alleyway, and the and so I'm gonna give you some things that you might want to use to incorporate the name. The, this guy was found in an alleyway in the city of Whittier. Mm -hmm. All right, Whittier, California. I got a call from a good Samaritan, found out about me, and I went and got this dude to do that. Looks like could be. It's undetermined. Could it could be a boy? Could be a girl? Just too young to yeah, know. Yeah. A it's wife. not developed yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But but this dude needs a name. So we're having a naming contest. All right. So how is it gonna work? Naming contest. It is come up with the best name. Okay. We had this before for the two box turtles, and the winner gets what? Some swag. swag. That's right. <laughs> Don't you want a tortoise guy hat? All right. Distressed, which is really cool. Ah, oh, my favorite. Skullcap. Come on, right? Yeah. Or, or the t-shirt from the tortoise guy. 5% of the sales, because we're going to be selling these soon, are going to go to tortoise and the nonprofit. But for right now, you have until next Saturday to put your name in the comments of the best name that you can give. So let's give a nice close-up, okay, of no name. No name's pretty adorable for the first few days. Wouldn't come out of uh, his or her shell at all, but now it's really active. Is dark red, which yeah. is unusual, right? So when and will you put her up for adoption? When will I put her up for adoption? That's a good question. Is she definitely she will be up for adoption because she's new in that? I I'll, I'll keep observation on uh, him or her for a good a good couple months, right? Yeah. To make sure there's no health problems in that, right? Okay. So when adoption time comes, where do you go? The tortoise guy, Kevin. Come on up here, right? That <laughs> not too long. No, <laughs> the tortoise guy, Kevin. Uh, the tortoise guy Kevin at gmail.com. That's how you can reach me. The tortoise guy Kevin at gmail.com. All right. So so by next Saturday, get your get your name in and win. Okay. And we're gonna announce it on next Sunday. Okay? She's already really interactive. Or he. Right. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna go here. We gotta keep our eye on Bean over there somewhere. Right. You know. That's Bean's okay. right here. You got Bean. Okay. There's Bean. All right, this is the way tortoises want to be and want to live, right out in the sun. Okay, all right, let's so go, one last thing. Yeah. So before we go over and check out Lucy, uh, Lucky Lucy and everything, and it's mm -hmm. very exciting, uh, we got, oh, come here, Rocky. Okay, this is something really cool and really important. All right, so, you know, we've been, I've been taking care of the tortoises and raising them and everything for a long time. This year, we formed our nonprofit called Tortoise Land, okay, and, um, and whether it's the tortoise guy or tortoise guy could totally use your help, right? A lot of people have expressed an interest like, hey, can I support uh, like baby Sheldon who's been to the hospital twice a week for nine months, right? So those things add up. So really cool thing, we now have a Patreon account, right. okay? You just go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, a lot of people know about it, dot com, and then you search for the person, you just search for, uh, oh, I wrote that wrong, just the tortoise guy, okay? So Patreon.com, and then the just, just type in the tortoise guy. And, and what it is is a membership. So for as little as $1 a month, you sign up, and you can cancel any time, okay? $1 a month to help us help the tortoises. So a dollar a month goes nothing to you, but it goes a long way with you when you get up to like 100 people getting a dollar That's a right, month. that's right. So, you yeah. know, so please, you know, patreon.com, help us out. Think about it. Okay, that's right. Not yeah. just think about it, but yeah. maybe, maybe, yeah, you, and you can cancel yeah. any time. All right, so here's the exciting thing. But first, I think we should take these guys just put them because put them they're, the just, they're yeah. just too they're just too little huh yeah. they're just too little so for right now let's put them over here where they're safe yeah. okay all right okay so here's the exciting really exciting everybody michael has built an incredible habitat right 
Look at this pole. They are not in tortoise land unless we're doing a, a sea turtle uh, sea turtle exhibit. Get the lucky of it. Yeah, and right? she's been so, hanging around digger all morning. So come here, you tell us all. And also, look at, yeah. Get down on their level, Vince. If you get, get, get right, tortoises low on the ground, so it's way cooler for us to get on the, the level of the tortoises, right? So, so we, tell us we about got Lucky, who I call Lucky uh, Lucy now. Um, go down. Oh, I know, two and a half months ago now, and when we first got her, it was the peak heat of the summer here, so she didn't really want to move around a lot during the day. Uh, she would sit underneath her mister in the corner and keep cool, and then in the early morning and early evening, she'd come out to forage for some food. But now, over the last month, she has completely come out of her shell. She follows us around. She acts like a dog. She's underfoot everywhere. If you come around the corner, she wants to come over to you. And I never knew that a tortoise would be that interactive. And so she's turning out to be an amazing, amazing animal, and I feel very lucky to have her. But one of my concerns was, can, is, I, can I see the camera? I first? thought, I just want to like that. Okay. It was unfair to keep a, any animal in isolation. Because at the end of the day, she's over here on the side of the house alone a lot. And so Kevin was really kind enough to come out here and see how she would interact with a couple other tortoises of different sizes. So she's with the Salcata, and Digger's with Wait, who's Digger? <laughs> okay, Digger's wait, wait. the brother hey, can I flip of those, flip them yeah. and then you can talk about the yeah. underbite and everything. Okay, okay. So it looks yeah. like it's connected. Right. Okay. okay. All right. So <clears throat> let me back up for a minute, so people all know. All right, just so they know. Right. So. Same breed. So, so um, let me say this, everybody. That that go to the playlist Shelly, right? Mm -hmm. For the story of how Shelly happened at the pet store that I went in and rescued uh, Shelly and Michael. You mean Lucky? You're talking about. I'm sorry, yeah. Lucky. We also rescued Shelly. I got Shelly from the East Valley mm -hmm. Animal Shelter. That's a great story too that has a really happy ending slash beginning. So go to that playlist, which is called uh, Huge Abandoned Tortoise Shelly rescued right so um he's on a 30 acre ranch now so you got to check that out so before just before shelly happened no i had shelly already yes you had to. i had shelly so then the call came for, for for this dude michael i had come here before right yeah and i had brought because because he was interested in, in a tortoise so i had brought who i had brought digger mm -hmm. and i had brought leo the leopard who's here and i brought uh, newbie, yep. the, the desert tours, because why we live in the desert, right? You, you live in the desert, mm -hmm. where it's super hot. So we wanted to bring tortoises, and this is important to you all, we wanted to bring tortoises that are appropriate for a desert climate, yeah. because it gets so darn hot here. So Michael mm -hmm. saw the tortoises, loved them, right? Mm -hmm. And decided he had to build a habitat for them, right? Because part of what we do with adoption, you know, is to not to adopt out, we gotta make sure the person has the right Right? Environment. Right? So this didn't look like this at all. So, right? Can you take a minute yeah, and so walk, we, uh, walk around? I'm going to stay right here, show them yeah. what you did. Okay? So this started off as one of those little putt putt gardens with the astroturf across the middle of it. You can kind of see the border that was around. And so we got rid of that because you can't keep them on after because evidently they'll eat it thinking it's grass and it's very harmful for them because it's just plastic. Yeah. So we had to have a safe space that a giant tortoise now uh, could live in. And it's been an education and a process as we learned what she would be like. She's a bit of an acrobat. Uh, right. She likes right. doing high jumps, believe it or not. Right. So we put the fence here. The first one's 12 inches tall. And I figured with her little six inch legs, she couldn't get across it. Uh, believe it or not, she could climb over the fence and pitch herself across it. She weighs somewhere around probably 80 to 90 pounds. Right. And she could lift herself with those tiny back legs over that fence. And it happened more than once. So we've raised the fence now, but she still remembers that she can get across it. So she's constantly trying to climb over it still. Um, but on this end over here, we needed something to keep her cool in the hot summers. So I went ahead and built her a 
water pond that she could climb into. Look at this, everybody. And drink out of. Right? But I, it's got a drain in okay. it. So every couple days I pull the plug. There's a drain, right? And drain it out and she gets fresh water every couple days. Right? And it, it probably holds a uh, hundred gallons. Right. Now this is great. Right. I, I, want, I want to say yeah. a few things about the pond, right? So how cool is it? First off, right? Hey, check it out. Come on over here. Yeah. And, and oh, that's right. All right. So the pond, super important. We're in a, we're in a, we're in a hot environment. Yeah. Tortoises do like to go in the water. Now what's key and important, and Michael knew, because we've been talking, that the water can't be too deep. It has to be a shallow pond. Why? Well, what if one of the tortoises somehow flipped over, right? So you gotta, when you're building a water, uh, like a lagoon like this, it's gotta be shallow. Yeah. It's big enough that, that uh, Lucky could sit in it. You and know? also I wanted to make sure she could turn around uh -huh. without getting kind of head stuck into it. Right. And right. Uh, so I mean, she usually comes just to the edge now and dips down and drinks it? from it, so. Right? So this is awesome, right? So we put in the shade cloth as well. Come on up here. To keep protected, but she's got gaps because it's really important. I found out that they have full sun. Right? To the develop vitamin D. Right? This is incredible, okay? This is incredible, and this truly warms my heart because this is the kind of environment that tortoise land. I'm in, I'm in the middle of the city of LA, so we do the absolute best we can. We take great care of the tortoises. The idea, though, is, is they come out, they get adopted out, and they get adopted out. Just let us know if it goes away. Okay. So, is it back? Okay. Great. Oh, so we got the big opening in there, yeah. and then it's so it's forty inches deep, and it's over eight feet long, and so she can get in through this end and then go into the other end. And I've got a large pig warmer, basically. Well, let's, we're gonna show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Come show. Over here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's just on top. Okay. So check this out because hey guys, hey, it was like how hot does it get in Palm Springs? One hundred and twenty-five. Uh, right? Crazy, yeah. crazy. It yeah. gets so hot here. Very dangerous for any animal, let alone a tortoise. Even though they're desert animals, the, the ones that we have here, no tortoise is going to be out in that kind of heat. So no we've got tortoise. The, right? the vine over here is intended to get actually canopy over this. Right. And I've got a four misting system that's going to be added to this as well to keep them misted all day long. Right? So we'll look this at it. Wait, insulated. first off, this is right. This insulated. is foam insulation, yeah. right? So okay, lightweight. Come on in here. Vince. I'm going to lose the connection. Vince is doing a great job, by the way, right, yeah. Vince? So look what we got down here. These are the same heat pads I used back in tortoise. It's great that Michael was able to do this, right? And stuff because but it's, it's only necessary if you've got a tortoise this big. <laughs> right, but even if you don't. you got a tortoise this big. But even if you yeah. don't, like, like we, you know, we got a lot of tortoises at tortoise land, right? So the critical things are like that, things you might not think about. They poo and they pee. Yeah. And they're going to do it in here. They've got a nice heat pad, you know? Yeah. So, like, you got to have ways to clean it. Yeah, and all that, out. right? Tracy says he has it all together for his tortoise. No way! <laughs> Tracy, right? Are you going to get a tortoise, Tracy? Do you have a tortoise? Tell us. What does he say? I don't know yet. Where are you, Tracy? He, what do you say, Tracy? <laughs> right? Uh, that's right. So, Michael, right? He, he's taking what I've done at Tortoise Land, and he's just, he's just jacked it up. He you have to understand, though, this is my first tortoise. So it's all in education, right? and you kind of, just like having a baby, you do it as you go Tracy along. says no, not getting a tortoise. I, oh, <laughs> come on. Tracy, there's 36 tortoises in tortoise land. That's a good home. You'll learn right? to love them. Right? So, oh, look at this. Okay, so come here. So, Mike, let's, uh, why? Let's see. Okay. Okay, I, I want to explain, okay, that why, okay, Mike, so why did I bring, where's Digger? Can you go, go find Dig, bring him in? Okay. Hi, Leo. There he is. Okay. Alright, everybody, check this out right here. Come here. Come here. Come here, uh, Vince. 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Listen, we're gonna wrap this up in a few minutes, okay? okay. Woo! All right, yeah, you can sit here for a sec. All right. So so I'm gonna point the back end off of me though. Yeah. <laughs> right, because when they pee, they pee, right? <laughs> and they get nervous. So everybody, who is this? Come on, you gotta check him out. That's Leo. This is beautiful, beautiful Leo. Leo is gorgeous leopard tortoise. That's right. Yeah. He's been with me for like fifteen years. He is the friendliest. I have four leopard tortoises, three males, you know, spike. Spikeosaurus with the huge spikes and carry the little baby, and then there's Frank that was adopted a few years ago. Okay, so Leo came because why? because he's looking for a home. And I was trying to get some company for uh, Lucky Lucy over there. That's right, right? And then also Digger, right? So we weren't sure 
Which tortoise, right? Here's the cool thing. They both are desert tortoises. African cicadas and leopards, you know, they live in the same yep. place. Yep. Okay, same Northern, Northern yep. Africa, right? Okay, did you know this? So cicadas are the third largest species of the world. As big as, as, as lucky Lucy is, at about 90 pounds, Lucy could get over 200 pounds. Twice as big. Yeah. Okay, imagine that, 200 pounds. Now, what about this guy over here, Leo? Leo is the fourth largest species in the world. Who knew, right? And, 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 and these guys get about 60 pounds. Oh, why do you know they got that big? I thought they topped out around 35. No, they top okay. out about 60 pounds, right? Okay. So, and Leo is super friendly. So the reason I brought Leo uh, and Digger, now, now these guys are so near and dear to my heart, right? Because super They're friendly. family. They're family. This the, the Digger was born in tortoise land, right? And Digger's getting so big. So I wanted to find home. So as much as I don't want um, to let go. Yeah, but it's a, just they're just in a new place where you can come and visit all the time. There you go. That's what I tell people, right? All the time. So so we brought these guys to see how the interactions were gonna be with Lucy, right? So you mm -hmm. put Dig down, right? Oh, I want to show you guys too. Digger, come on down on our level, Vince. All right. Digger, okay, Digger is super ticklish, right? Okay, so when Digger gets walking, tortoises can feel through their shell, right? Okay, so when Digger walks, you go like this, you know, when he's just in his mood and he's comfortable and stuff, he will go crazy right here and will go back and forth with his hind legs. He's okay. So tortoises are super friendly, right? And they can totally feel in their shell. So if you have a tortoise, try it out, you know, right? And uh, and see if they're ticklish because they love it, right? So the reason, come in, Mike. Well, before we cut out, I want to show one last thing. Yeah, can on. you bring in a real close-up shot of her oh, feet? Right. Come on, come on yeah. up here, Mike. Yeah. yeah come yeah. behind and yeah. tell and tell the tell what's going on here. So one of the things that we came across, if we don't know her history at all, is she has got an amazing underbite. Right. You really, see that? Really overgrown real for good? many many mm -hmm. years. Right. Get and so she does have a very difficult time eating anything that she has to cut apart. Even something as simple as kale so eventually here in the future we're going to have to make the long journey back to la and see the amazing vet that uh, kevin uses and they're going to have to probably uh take care of that for us and then hopefully she'll be able to eat properly in the future right but right. it's something you have to consider uh when you get a tortoise that you'll need to do things like this as they grow through your life right right so, now that that's that obviously is not normal come on yeah. back up there right and that's obviously not normal. And, you know, God God bless her because she has, uh, you know, survived it, right? Well, this is the normal you know? beak. There you go. Normal beak right there. Right, Dig? Yeah. yeah. Look at it. So funny. And this is her beak. So what happens is, come on up here for a sec. So what happens is we'll go, we'll take it to Access Vet where I yep. take all my tortoises yep. and they take amazing care. Why? Before we go out to it, we yep. got to talk about Shy Girl laying eggs. So here's the deal. You know, if you're going to say in, 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 in a minute or two, what, did you have any idea, the per, not just taking her on, but the personality? And all I that. had no idea that they would even have a personality. You kind of look at a tortoise as some slow-moving, inanimate object most of the time. Right. And she can't just completely comes out of her shell. She knows who you are. She constantly wants to be with you. She will walk over anytime back here in the pen area. She is underfoot constantly uh, trying to interact with anything I'm doing, whether I'm feeding her or building the fence. She's literally like this right here between you. Right, um, right. And what would, it's a wild animal, but it really wants a connection. So um, it's part of the joy of having one. Right, and that's what drew me in, you know, Max. There's a whole playlist about Max, you know, the gentle yeah. giant. When, when he got rescued from the same pet store, yeah. right? Like, you know, 15 years ago, uh, and, right? And, and, and he followed me around the store. I, I got him home and he started following me around just like he, I call him my fifth dog. Because, so 200 million years of evolution and a lot of people still say reptile, reptilian, yeah. you know, dumb, to, right? Yeah. Wrong, right? Wrong, completely okay. wrong. She remembers everything. Right. So here's what's going to happen now. What's going to happen? We we have, of course, Lucy. So first off, how impressive is it? Come on up here. Just how impressive is it that he was so cool and interested that he built this environment, okay? 
right? So right off the top, it's like could not be lucky or could not have lucky Lucy could yeah. not have come to a better place, right? Okay. So now, now we got to see. We're introducing a couple. Of, Leo's over here, right? We're introducing a couple of new tortoises. So you don't want to do that and just like walk away, right? You can't do it. Hi, just being a walking away, right? Okay. So we're letting Leo starting to explore. But you don't want to introduce the tortoises and walk away because what if, what if a, a lucky Lucy ends up being aggressive, right? This guy's too little to defend himself. And even Digger over here, right? So you want to bring him in and you want to you make sure you observe, you right? Yep. Okay. So, so we came in last night. Okay. Here we go. We're going to wrap this up with a couple things, right? Come on down here, Mike. All right. On the ground. Okay, so check out the playlist, Luke Lucky, okay, and see the live stream of, yeah. of Lucky, you know, when How she that started off this journey. Right? Yeah. Check that playlist. There's lots of great stuff, including when, when Mike reloaded her into the car <laughs> for the first time, right, and brought her here. So the evolution of then to now is incredible. Learning how to build a habitat. Yeah. This dude has, steps has done it, right? Okay, and so... Remember, Patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com. Dollar goes a long way. Dollar, check it out. It's a really cool thing. You can have $1 a month, $5, whatever, right? Okay. Swag, what's that about? The contest for no name, right? Yep. That's right. So check that out, right? No name name your name until next Saturday. Put your name in the comments. <laughs> best, best name wins this or this or this, right? Yep. And lastly, who laid eggs yesterday? Two days ago. You know who laid eggs? She's world famous, literally. Shy girl, mm -hmm. shy girl versus the world. She has so she wasn't so shy. I had no idea, <laughs> no idea that she was even pregnant. And two days ago, I'm watching her dig with her hind legs, okay? And you know who I'm certain is the dad? The other rescue. Yeah. Shelly. Shelly's a male. Right, Shelly was really aggressive. I showed Shelly mounting shy girl several times. I, I, she didn't look like she was interested. She's trying to get away. But here it is, four months later, and she dropped a whole lot of eggs. And why? Nature happens. That's right. <laughs> Nature will find a way. And you want to see the video? It dropped this morning at 8 a.m. Check it out. It says shy girl lays eggs. It's Fantastic. pretty incredible. She laid so many eggs. Go check that video out. Okay. So next Sunday's live streams coming. And we know, who knows where we'll be in the world. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Okay, so it's a great story with Lucky Lucy. Yeah. Right? What else? What do you want to end with? Uh, just, today. you know. Give them down. Do you definitely, see this girl? Definitely consider adoption. Uh, they easy to manage. Um, they become a real part of your life. They're a lot easier to handle than a dog. Uh, and can give you just as much joy. So. Look at that, they're right? They're really, really fun to have. As a part of your life, so hmm. I can't say much more go. than that, right? Yeah. So, so from uh. From, from, uh, from the tortoise guy, you're interested in adoption. The tortoise guy, Kevin, at gmail.com, Patreon account, help us out, and thank you so much. You're welcome. And look at this, <laughs> yeah. and want to be revealed. Okay, hit that X.